Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Allies release finals between Mixinoch and Topher1588. I'm Jackal, and I'm here with Akuchi and Arnie. Hello. Hello. Nice. Perfectly synced. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's going to be a first to 3.5 wins. And in this tournament, we have increasing amounts of cards from the new Dominion Expansion allies. Each game is going to have uh, an ally card. Here we can see it's Mountain Folk. Uh, and I think we have like one forced ally card in this game, and then it goes up to like two, four, seven, and then all allies for the rest. Yes. Hmm. Interesting. So what's going on here? I guess the trash no. Hmm. Yeah, the trashing is quite weak. We just have dismantle. No, we have um, cathedral. cathedral too. Oh, oh hey, was, that's a lot stronger. Yeah, I was about to, just about to say that the trashing is weak myself, so maybe cultus is important. And then I saw cathedral, and I was like, no, 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 <laughs> trashing is super strong. Uh, I still think cultus is pretty good. The problem is the lack of like the plus actions is just coming from mastermind, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or contract. Or contract. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I, I would definitely want to play with Cultus because, you know, despite Cathedral, the runes are definitely going to be annoying for the other player to deal with. Yeah, you can still only trash one card a turn. So if you dump How... 10 cards into your opponent's deck, it's... I guess if the if your opponent's going for Scrying Pools, though, it, it's not as much of a, a problem. Right. Scrying Pool will go right through those runes. So we'll see if yeah. either player ends up going for a potion. Yeah, I mean... It's either cultist draw or scrying pool draw. Or... Yeah, at least I would imagine I would like to have a scrying pools here. So Topher had the four three, so we didn't see if uh, if they passed up the opportunity for a um, cathedral potion open. Mm -hmm. uh, so they went with cathedral silver. McSenok had the five or the two five. Uh, definitely not great on a cathedral board. Yeah. Although yeah. Went, went with the treasurer. Treasure is strong, at least. And uh, Mick thinking a while about what that treasurer option was going to be, and opts for the key so that they can hit five again on their turn four. Yeah, it makes at least hitting five if you want to spam this with cathedral a lot more reliable. So you can just keep trashing your coppers if you find maybe five coppers or something like that. Huh. But Mick ends up going with the potion anyway, perhaps responding to Topher uh, picking up a cultist. Yeah, interesting. Quite diverging strategies. Although with only Mastermind as a as village, like playing with cultist and treasure doesn't work all that well. Yeah, but the scrying pool is good with those. Uh, ruins. Yeah, in terms of scrying pool, there are a few different options for plus buy, which is something that you always want to see on a scrying pool board. Um, none of them are super strong. We have Skulk, Capital, and Sacred Grove. Mm. Right, yeah, like you could contract your cultist to have that start off your turn. And then draw up your terminal payload and play it. Then you're actually never spending actions playing cultist. Yeah, Topher did end up getting a mastermind, so that's uh, the approach they're going with. Yeah. Oh, oh, you know, never mind. That's Mick who has the mastermind. All right. Oh yeah, My bad. true. True, true. Fully drawing deck is Topher. That's actually pretty uh, nasty. Yeah. <laughs> speed, of, speed of attack. We, if they go like this, they will have all the ruins next turn. Uh, Mick, has, Mick will have. Yeah, that's fast. And it doesn't seem too unreasonable for me if they 
by a fifth cultist that they can play all five next turn as well. Ends Why up so... buying nothing? That's okay. <laughs> Why would you do that? That doesn't seem like the best thing, but maybe there's know. a plan we don't see. Yeah, I would have thought like at least a contract would have been nice to pick up. Yeah, like isn't isn't half the the reason you pick up capital is like you can front load. Well, that did happen buy. the previous turn, right? Yeah, on yeah. turn seven, Topher did pick up two cultists, went in big debt, and apparently they didn't sure. want to remain in debt on that turn. Yeah, but like, there's no downside to being in debt here. Or do yeah, do, well, do they want a province super early or something? No, no, I I think we'll find out here. Yeah. What they were planning. Hmm. Yeah, I think I would have picked up the contract on the previous turn. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, like the... Uh... Yeah, Mountain Folk, not the strongest of allies, but uh, it. I think it is going to be nice to have a contract, and so on a like crucial turn, you can trigger the Mountain Folk and, and save a dead turn. Yeah. So Mick managing to find the scrying pool with Mastermind, and so all these runes are no problem at all on this <laughs> turn, at least. <laughs> what a hand. <laughs> oh, wow, that's really cool. And you can activate a cathedral after fully drawing your deck. That's so Because it's still the start of the turn. <laughs> and you still have a lot of actions. You, you can play the Abandoned Mines for payload. Absolutely. <laughs> and one, one of the... You know, rune markets presumably. Well, you only have one. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's actually, huh? That's really nice. Yeah, it would have been nicer is if Mick was able to pick up another mastermind uh, on their previous turn. Yeah. Very true. But didn't quite have, well, enough money to buy anything. It looks like. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. So Maybe they... as long as Mick can find some scrying pools in his starting hand, everything should be probably quite fine. But... But, but do you take the second mass one here then? Yeah. Making sure that you get at least one down. Yeah, there are five treasures, so definitely could be a dead turn here for Mick, especially given that all these actions in the starting hand. Interesting. Topher decides to play. Yeah, the, the the choice was either to play the mastermind and contract cultist, or play all the cultists and then contracts either mastermind or cultist. Yeah, but contract would be two turns out of play if you contract the mastermind, right? I'm not sure. What is this mastermind even doing? I don't think so. Uh, I... I'm not really sure. I... It's yeah, not giving and, ruins, it's not needed for draw. And you can't. You what can't is a contract maybe, maybe. doing? Mm. Yeah, this this is weird. Oh, okay, okay. You dismantle maybe. potentially. Yeah. I mean, it. Hmm. I kind of like. I don't. Maybe you don't really need the reliability all that much, but contracting cultists. I think it's pretty good for the reliability. But this... Oh, I mean, Topher just seems good. very reliable with all those cultists. I'm yeah. curious to see how the dismantle is used. One copper trash? I don't like that. No, that's what's... Oh, no, that was Cathedral. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so I think we want to trash capital potentially into something. Maybe Skulk. And then you can trash the cultists and draw up like the cards you just gained, which is really cool. Yeah, you can't really. Can you get a new mastermind in play? I... Yes. yes. You can get the gold. You can get two golds if you display uh, dismantle capital into Skulk. And so you're guaranteed to draw one of them. I mean, even if you dismantle it into but something then, that's not no, but then, Skulk, you, then you can't play, can play the mastermind. Actions. No, hold on. Okay, so you get three plays of Dismantle, right? So yeah. one of them on Capital, the second one on Cultus, and the third one on Gold. 
Right. So then how do you draw and play the mastermind? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I don't like using the first trash on cultist. Yeah, that seems like you want to use a second trash on cultist. Sure. But it feels like they maybe won't be so reliable soon if they keep pressing this cultist. It would maybe be possible to get a contract on a cultist. Uh, if you whatever trash, the case, but I don't like that order. <laughs> if we if we trash capital into skulk. No, we need to draw twice. No, so we couldn't get contract in play either. Yeah, this next turn is not looking great. So no, today we'll have problems with draw. Not the thing. Uh, so many cards. Cool. I I think I would do. Hmm. Hmm. Do you have to go to Scrying Pool at this point as Topher? I uh, feel like it's not necessary. I would think yeah. you're just doing like quick greening with money yeah. stuff. Cool, this spam this month will help you get some stuff and get all the provinces as fast as you can. Yeah, I think now Topher maybe allows uh, make the trash all with those drawings and get back. Yeah, I I think I would have liked to see Topher not take the potion there and uh yeah, and, and go for getting ready to green. But yeah, it would have been nice, but there was no way to get a mastermind in play. That that's what you ideally want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mick gets a mastermind on scrying pool. So Great turn ahead. Yeah, very, uh, very nice. I for I forgot he got the mastermind in play. I feel like as long as Mick can find a scrying pool in his starting hand, it'll be just fine from here on out. You could even, I mean, it's probably not worth it, but like you could pick up a contract and start having a contract with Scrying Pool just to make sure that you have a bit better chance of drawing on the start of your turn. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure where you go from here as Mick. You want to add some payload, and because you have the scrying pools, it probably needs to be action. You want it to be action payload, so maybe sacred groves come into play. I think I want. I mean, if you get another mastermind, you can start masterminding the treasure. And you, and you, you don't have to add plus by immediately since you have the ruin markets. Masterminding treasure. I mean, yeah, that's. Decent. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, another mastermind is reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's gold in the trash. Ooh. <laughs> Mick, Mick, ju Mick just showed Topher. <laughs> he could gain that gold if he wanted to. I don't so even need it. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think he's actually going to be able to take advantage of the gold in terms of, like... I would guess we'll see. Yeah. It's a question of gain gold, play two rune markets, or, yeah, don't, like, trash copper and, get, and play one rune market were the options. This is a little safer. Yeah, I like this. And then get a, another mastermind here. I mean, Topher doesn't have a way to gain that gold, so it's still going to be there for Mick uh, on future turns. Yeah, very true. And being in sole control of the key is so nice. Yeah, not nice draws from Topher not drawing any actions. Well, I guess that's not great with contract. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, a pretty nice turn, except for the fact that he oh, just snap, snap bought a scrying pool. 
like, I mean, you bought the potion, it makes sense, but honestly, you should buy province here, right? Yeah, yeah, just double province. Oh, no. Yeah, and so first seems to be running quite well on his group list. There's two left, right? So Topher picks up a contract. That's not a province, nor is it a plus buy. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I prefer mix position. Yeah, definitely. Like to Topher had a good start, but it didn't feel like they had a good plan for transitioning. Out of it. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree on that. So do you mastermind uh use contracts for twelve percent by a province here? Uh no no no, you have to trust something. Oh yeah. Oh, you. I assume that Topher is going to trash the cultist. Yeah, probably. Ten Topher will have only one cultist left. Yeah, I mean, what else are you going to trash? Yeah. Uh. So scrying pools, I would imagine it wouldn't be drawing too many cards since Topher has oh. uh, many more treasures than actions. Mick doesn't trash a copper. Mick treasures a mine and takes the gold, so it doesn't go down in stop cards at all. Oh, oh! Uh, at least there's ruined library. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> two two masterminds. You can put one in ruined library. That's not too bad. Yeah, definitely not the draw that Mick went wanted, but hopefully can avoid a complete dead. I mean, There's this... a lot of scrying pools in deck at this point. Talk Speaking for... of which, we should look at the pile situation with scrying pool and mastermind getting low. Yeah. Topher had another instance where they had 10 money and a potion, and they just buy a single mastermind. I'm yeah. still not really sure that uh, what Topher is going to mastermind. <laughs> no, they have a. Topher has a cult to set aside, so that's fine. True, but you can't mastermind that cultist, so I think dismantle is literally the only. No, but you're gonna, you can draw before you mastermind. I d I just don't think Topher has any action cards in deck. Like maybe they draw into their scrying pool. But right. Topher has only one cultist left. Yeah, all of his five also have been trashed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in deck is a scrying pool, and uh, what? Two golds. Yeah, no, no other actions, right? Maybe um, another mastermind. Contracts. One other mastermind. Yeah. And yeah. So scrying pool contracts. and mastermind. So does Mick want another mastermind here, or is it time to get a grove now? Yeah, both of those seem like reasonable options. Uh, only two buys here, so I. No, yeah, he, I think you want a grove. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Mastermind is barely even a village when it doesn't have anything to 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 play. Yeah, there we go. Dismantle three times. Oh, this is. This deck, <laughs> this deck this, this did not work out. Is it optional, Mastermind? Yeah, it's optional. You might actually just choose not to do it. That's so strange. I mean, you have to trash to Cathedral anyway. Like, you don't want to dismantle Silvers. You don't want to dismantle your only plus buy. I mean, dismantling yeah. Silvers isn't that bad. Or, I mean, I mean you... <laughs> you're going to end up with a lot <laughs> of golds. Is you get a copper and a gold from a silver. That's <laughs> that's pretty what bad. It's for the mastermind. <laughs> yeah, resign in shame. Your deck didn't work out. Yeah, uh, I feel like they could have had like four or three provinces by that point if they just had both the province every time they had a chance. Yeah. Yeah, um, I think their advantage at that point was being able to like. You start the greening faster, and there was Duke on the board, but mixed deck would have had a really hard time, like getting through green if they tried to to go the Duchy Duke route. So, um, 
like do mixed deck was not fast to build yeah so i th- i think topher did have an opportunity to go for provinces um at the point when he bought the potion instead yeah definitely yeah hmm. uh, we've got a new so kingdom. there's possible scoring with shepherds here plateau of submerge oh with bauble yes And counterfeit that helps a lot as well. Yeah, this is hmm. strange board. Plenty. We got three liaison liaisons. Uh, um, you know, yeah, I think Plateau Shepherds is going to be really critical here. I mean, is it? I mean, it's nice, but is it critical? I think it's the best way to score. Uh, you also want to pick up some labyrinth points, so that probably points to underlings. Maybe. Wow, well, uh, interesting. Marauder as well. You can chunk them and get labyrinth points. So Mick open double bobble. I'm not fond of that. <laughs> I think Mick I would have opened like gear here. bobble. Uh. Yeah, I like because I just I want to pick up a counterfeit like really bad, maybe double gear actually. This is just straight up double. <laughs> but like, what the hell does a bobble rush do? I guess you get you get all the labyrinth points and the bobble. Do you does, lab, does labyrinth count? Oh, okay, yeah, you do get it from bob bobbles. Okay, I thought it was action cards only. Oh, no. Um. <clears throat> so like. Mick will get a bunch of points, but... Yeah, but how, what's the third pile, right? If you go for bobbles and estates, you need a third pile. I don't know what Mick's plan is for that. I yeah. guess we'll find out. And, like, bobbles are only one coin each. It's not like a, it's not like a silver rush, where you end up with a deck that can actually start provincing or something. All right, so Topher's yeah. got two gears and a counter, maybe three gears and a counterfeit, so we get to see some divergent strategies here. I like that. I, I'm confused by the town opening, but yeah, I don't think it's whatever. It's fine, I guess. Yeah. This make is getting some points here. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they are going to pl- uh, pile ruins for, with the boys they have for bubbles. Embargo as a third pile is definitely the best. <laughs> Embargo, <laughs> it's not crazy. I can see it. I can see it. I don't think you want ruins. I think you want you prefer embargo. That's true. Neither is doing much in your deck. Like you can get ruins a little bit faster, but the embargo is going to get you a lot more points. If but so you can first a province pile. If... I think... yeah, you can do that too. Play an embargo or two on the province pile. Well, I think Toth- Topher should respond by embargoing estates or embargoes. Yeah, I, I definitely agree on that. Hmm, maybe it's awkward for, for Topher to do that. Yeah, they don't have a lot of actions, but... So yeah, so Topher's <laughs> path to victory is buying provinces. Uh, because there's no way that Mick scores enough points with Pl- Plateau Shepherds to overcome like six provinces, right? Uh, well, I can have 28 points from a plot of shepherds if they get all the bubbles and burgers in his states. Uh, actually, three more, six more. So, with uh, 21. Oh, they more. can actually get it. No, they can yeah. get 28 times 2 VP, right? Plus the three starting states. So, uh, 30, 62 34. VP. You yeah, get 2 VP. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I th- that's going to be really hard for Topher to deal with. And also the Labyrinth points, which Mix will like, be getting off. Yeah, that is more Can VP than all of the provinces. By yeah, far. It's like hitting two isn't hard, <laughs> so they can chunk their deck. And so, keep and, on buying. Yeah. Mick did trash their first embargo, mm-hmm. which they drew immediately <laughs> to curse provinces. So it's going to be really tough. There's no way to trash curses on this kingdom, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. 
I think Mick seems way ahead. But they Mick needs to gain a lot of favors though. True. True. This game is not over. No, no, like it's <laughs> anytime it's, soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Mick, Mick can at most gain like two cards a turn from these two piles. Which means there's like eight turns left. Yeah, and if they're doing that, then that means they're not gaining favors necessarily, like with their baubles. Yeah. To to that, so. Huh. And if Topher can can sneak in an embargo on the estates or embargo, like, like what does Mick do if if he get a if you get an embargo token on the estates? You save that pile for last. Uh, yeah. If you do get like a double embargo on a state, I think you just empty ruins instead. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mick going for the estates immediately. And Interesting. Mick does have guards on the boards here. Huh? Why does Toe forget Guildmaster? It seems very confusing. Like Tofer is not gonna have two costs in his deck. I mean, you don't well, have. Well, you, <laughs> you start with three of them, but yeah, you you do start with three estates, so you definitely want to get. I think Guildmaster's fine. I mean, it's money, and it gets you up to four more VP. But it's so. but it's terminal. Like, if if I just want to get enough VPs to, to score my estates, I want to pick up an underling. Yeah, Underling is reasonable. I think one Guildmaster is also fine. It offers some flexibility too, right? Like, we can imagine a situation where Topher gets some provinces and happens to be in a situation where now they can control the end of the game and having some extra favors helps them get the VP they need. Okay, are they just going to go for estates right now? But that, mm. that must favor Mick. Yes, that yeah. does seem like a losing line. Yeah. I would imagine on Leveto first. Winning was by buying more provinces and going that way, but contesting on something like that Mick has been dying for all game <laughs> now seems not ideal. This is not the way. I, there may not have been a way, but yes, this is not the way. I got to admit that it was stronger than I had imagined would be yeah this is yeah this is unfortunately strong <laughs> <laughs> yeah and like the 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 engine isn't that impressive but the lack so of a state crashing seems really to hurts. be actively helping so there's only four cards left and should be maybe turn or two before maybe yeah and, and mix really getting those favors yeah. yeah. And now Mick will be able to get two favors on the embargo, and then the yeah. seems to be over for me at least. I wouldn't imagine there's a way for Tofa to win at this point. Yeah, this seems quite over indeed. <clears throat> How high will Mick's points go? <laughs> It stops there at 43. Yeah, interesting. I'm not the bubble the bubble rush is definitely strong. But yeah, I'm... and I think the embargo is a really nice asset for Mick, being able to embargo province on a, in a kingdom where you cannot trash curses. Yeah, but I'm just not sure if if it works the other way around as well. Like if you embargo the the like if you open embargo as the opponent and you just immediately embargo the bubbles. Or you do it a little later once they're committed. Yeah. Um yeah. well I don't know about embargoing the bubbles. Yeah, maybe. I was thinking embargo estates would would hurt a bit, but then you just save that for the end. I don't know. Uh the bubble thing seems strong. Mm -hmm. But we've got a new kingdom. We do. This looks like a bridge thing. With... It does. Yeah. 
you can set it up very well with Royal Galleys. Yeah. And uh, Topher immediately deciding that they'd prefer a 4-3 as opposed to a 2-5, which is a bit surprising. It doesn't... I guess uh, it... Well, it's just strange. You start with two copper, why not buy a lackeys? Don't you want that? Maybe Topher's going to buy a student? Hmm. Or double engineer? That would be weird. Indeed. I, I think I would have preferred... Hmm, I'm liking Lackey's Bridge in the opening. But Engineer's okay, also. I mean, if you if you don't open Student, there's a small risk that you don't get one at all. Although oh, it's, uh, it's unlike... There's, also, there's Cave Dwellers, too, I, I just saw. So maybe Topher's going to discard hmm. with this five copper hand, maybe? Oh, right. Trying to get the Engineer faster. Nope. Okay. Let's see if Mick does that. I think... Yeah. If Mick doesn't take a student here, they might be locked out of trashing, which would be really bad. That's true. Like, that feels, that feels game-losing. Oh, <gasps> they don't! I don't know if it's game losing. Yeah, I guess the draw is decently strong. That maybe it's fine. There is also garrison if you want to go in that direction. Um, it it's kind of costly to go through, but like hunter is Mick's favorite card, right? <laughs> so that should work okay. Wait, Topher wants to undo? Maybe Kevin Bars. Or oh, oh. Right. Yeah. So yeah. they they don't I rotate. Would, I, would like to, I would like to have rotated. That Whoa! Time. Whoa! You would have free thrashing there. Yeah, that's wild. And with these engineers around, the conjurer doesn't seem to be that impressive for me to get either so it's not like you give something uh, huge for me by rotating the pile it is wild yeah i don't yeah now mick gets it i would trash a state here i think is topher for sure yeah got that lackeys with your buy and gain a galley Reasonable. It's a bit late to rotate now. It's a conjurer. <laughs> That's fine. Double conjurer. Hmm. I guess Topher was zeroing in on conjurer being a key card. I'm not so convinced, but it looks like they're both on in ah. that opinion. Uh oh, the sad galley is threatening Mick. Although plenty of cave dweller favors, so not a problem. Yeah. Uh, I don't think Mick has any favors. Oh, that. Yep. True. Those are villagers. Oh! <laughs> I get I, I get that. I just totally remember oh. one of their games with the same issue. I've made, <laughs> I've made that mistake before. Yeah, but like, hmm. I think the, the hill fort, I think, is very interesting together with the bridge. So I might want to go dig for those. I'm 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 not approving of any of this gaining, to be honest. See, in my opinion, the best gainer on the board is bridge. Sure. And I just want all yeah. the bridges. Like getting two conjurers seems like well, why I'd rather just have bridges. Yeah, yeah. I don't care for the conjurer when the when the action space is so tight. But the big upside with with Hill Fort is that it's uh, non-terminal. Oh yeah, I'd t I'd take it if it was there. But you yeah. to go through the for it. You can just get all of the lackeys and stay on terminal like that. And it, yeah, I guess the piles might just run too quickly for Hill Force to make a man to to matter at all. Yeah, maybe. And there's all of these conjurers, and when they do start to get bridges, uh, bridge can. 
Yeah, to respond to Cave, I think Lackey's Bridge and Royal Galley will all run. Yeah. Yeah, Lackey's Bridge and Royal Galley do seem like the most likely to run. There are all those conjurers right now, and they seem to be playing them. And Lackey's will run fast for sure. I'm not sure about the bridge from now, but I would imagine bridge would go pretty fast as well. It's also turn six, which is kind of funny to think about. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure that they will run in like few turns, but I think like I'm not sure we will end the game on a province pileout. No, no, not if the players. Well, just no in general. I think because of the <laughs> the, the like two times conjurers. Yeah. Although actions is actions are starting to look rough. But if a player had like gone more in for bridges early, less like bridges and lackeys. Somebody could have gotten to seven bridges, like that would have been a possibility. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, I feel like yeah, actions, actions are real tough to manage. Yeah. Ten minutes to have to gain some merchant camps here, which are pretty awkward as well because the draw isn't amazing as well. Yeah, merchant camp is awful. You can't play both the bridge and the conjurer here. Pretty sad. I mean, I think you may have to play with Merchant Camp. <laughs> there may be no other option. I mean, obviously you get lackeys till they're gone. I mean, you you can you can galley like hunters or patricians. So why not trash the lackeys there? No clue. I don't know. Okay, conjurer first to gain lackeys allowed. Yeah, allowed the villagers to play the bridge. Okay, hmm. that's nice. Hmm. Galley with student. You can trash a copper and prevent it from top, top decking, right? <laughs> Bonus. Yeah, I find like the student top decking is useful exactly on turn three and like pretty much no other point in the game. Yeah, it's awkward. That does sound right to me as well. Like, I, th I thought it would be really good. And it's like, oh, it's like almost donate that you can trash down super quickly. But no, it takes forever and you're not buying anything. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the best boards for it because of lackeys. Yeah. I'm always confused about why some of these uh, for split file, uh, rotating files do the rotating at different points. Like old map. You discard first for the another con, then you decide if you rotate or not. And yeah, student is the odd one do, out, I think. You, oh. you first rotate and then play, and it always confuses me a little bit. My guess would be that Donald X wanted to avoid a potential rules confusion where the trash paragraph like puts a card onto the deck, and so having instructions after that could confuse new players who aren't used to cards doing things when they're not in play. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that, that, that's reasonable. And for all the other cards, it's like, well, better put it at the end because you have more information at that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Molo, yeah, I guess. I guess it still is net draw with Galley and Merchant Camp and Lackeys. <laughs> There's also a hunter in the kingdom. <laughs> uh, Topher is confused about us something. Let's see here. I would imagine make answer. Royal Va Royal Galley fails to set aside student. Is the situation? <laughs> okay, that that fooled me as well. I I thought that Royal Galley would would win that contest, but nope. So don't throw a galley a student in cup first. Correct. Hmm. So you want to trash the estate if you want the student to be galleyed. I'm not sure that was the best target for a galley anyway. Maybe I'm going for a bridge rather than that. But... Well, it is it is a village if you uh, galley the student. Maybe so like it's magic camp here. Yeah, that looks great. Because you definitely have to deny you know, all the villages that you can keep. I mean, 
so responding to it's a village i mean it's plus actions either way because like if you target a bridge or a conjurer then you get to play that next turn without using actions so i think it comes to the same thing right um, but here you're forced to play a student and i would trash a lackeys i think but um to topher might trash a copper and then a top sex a student and you don't really want that yada 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 Hmm. Non-duration. Okay, so Royal Galley cannot target the Conjurer at all. So the second Royal Galley is um, not doing anything unless you top deck. Yeah, this is not just awkward. So potentially for Mixenok, you should do no target with this Royal Galley. Play the Student Trashing Copper, then play Royal Galley, Student Trashing Estate. And then, yeah, you can actually set aside that student if you want. Oh, or you can know what the last card is. Oh, that seems much better. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they did choose to not play anything with the first Royal Galley. They didn't want to target student. Wait, Wait what? No. Why not play student to get an extra copper trash off? I guess maybe Mick wanted the four coppers. But Mick is drawing deck. What? No. Taking a while. They, they talk to stuff with all their galleys. What's tucked with the first one? Oh, there is. Oh, they had two students? No, hold on. I need to see what's happening here. Do I not know how to read? How do I see what Mick set aside with the Royal Galleys? Uh, you can hover your mouse over that far. So Mick has set aside three Royal Galleys and there's two Conjurers. And Mick has set aside oh, student and two Lackeys. Okay, okay. Yeah, I got confused somehow. I'm... It is a com somewhat confusing card. So Topher Trash Copper with their first student right yeah like they have more lackeys than they need that's just something to keep in mind <laughs> they have a have a lot of lackeys yes yeah oh i guess they can gain and play do they all the they don't have actions. Yeah. Although now, yeah, now you can conjure hunters and stuff. I would maybe student. Yeah, like yes. Seems right. Yeah, you only get to play one conjure. It looks like. Here, I would start to get very piles running out. Did so oh, Yeah, Topher got a merchant camp. They must have set it aside with Royal Galley. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. That's going to help on a future turn. Yeah, I feel like their next turn might be pretty good. They have two bridges, one lackeys and a merchant camp, so they'll have a seven card hand, uh, two bridges and the actions. So they yeah, can they or something big. Yeah, yeah, they have a imbalanced royal galley situation, right? They got they played four this turn. Uh, that means yeah. the next turn next turn is gonna be really strong. So maybe they can win on that turn. Yeah. yeah. They can lower the piles with uh, Conjurer gaining something, and they have three buys, maybe three bridges, or some merchant camps, some variation of that. And uh, yeah, so I think some number of bridges and some number of merchant camps uh, and... is definitely the correct play here for Topher, hoping for a pile out next mm -hmm. turn. I feel like it's really risky if they don't pile out next turn because their turn after that will be really weak, probably. This this hunter is not gonna draw a lot of cards though. Mm, certainly not when two of their three coppers are already in hand. Yes. Um. Yeah, I I'm would have sure. got a merchant camp instead of that hunter. I think. Like two merchant camps, two bridges seems pretty good for Topher. So mix max gains are free. But can hmm. 
Um, maybe a yeah, conjurer can gain and play bridges. What mix plan of attack here? Can they win? I guess is question one. So if they conjure two bridges and play both, then they'll have two three buys and so there's four bridges left. I would imagine it's possible winning here. No, it doesn't seem possible. No, it's their one short of of piling, and that would be a a tie. Yeah, and I and... also don't think they would have the actions to that. Oh, I think so. They have a merchant camp in hand, unplayed, and they have two actions right now. And royal galley and, is and two royal galleys. Yeah, so yeah, actions are not a problem for Mick this turn. No, they can only play three. So if, it, if they if play it, a conjurer, play merchant camp, royal galley uh, bridge, then play another conjurer and royal galley that bridge. Like you can play three more terminal cards. Yeah, actually, I was one off. So yeah. So uh, oh oh they yeah. They can gain they and play one control. card and gain two of it. That seems risky to me. Like, uh, I guess you just bridges. I don't know what's Mick's plan of winning if you don't have a single bridge. Yeah, that's true. Feel like they have to get maybe some green cards here. Uh, it I'm not should sure. be pretty easy. For... So here's here's odd. If you're going to get a merchant camp, why not do that with your first conjure, and then you'd be able to play it with royal galley and like yeah, that's the play point. your next bridge. Definitely way better. I think Mick thought he had a villager left. That's my guess. So Topher will have immediately three buys and one gain from a conjurer. So they definitely be able to get four, four gains and probably will be able to get more with finding their bridges unless their draw is really bad. Yeah, Topher's looking very ahead. Mick can't even buy a province, a defensive province. Not that, like, I don't know what mixed line path to victory is here. Do you bother buying a duchy? I'm pretty sure that you almost have to buy at least an estate or something, because getting five bridges seems really likely for Topher. Hunter estate? No, guess not. I'm... Oh, well, six games, I mean, actually. Yeah. Myself. It's a difference of six versus seven gains, which seems like a pretty big difference to me. Oh, yeah, no, the estate doesn't matter, right? Because Topher would just get a duchy, which is just yeah. as easy as getting an estate right. with all right. those bridges in play. Yeah. So, yeah. so it, would have, it would have to it be would a have duchy. It would have to have been a duchy, yeah. So and even that might not have mattered too much because like, with enough bridges in play, you can buy one province and then everything else is free. True. So, so Topher okay. looking to find their other merchant camps. Hunter's gonna help. No. Although if well, it reveals oh, it, I guess it, camp and two bridges, they, I guess they can play like this here. I think if they need, yeah, yeah, okay, that was very it. very helpful. Uh, do they have it? Five, now? six. Yeah, they have it. Now. Yep. A conjurer can gain province. Nice. GG. So two one for a mix favor. Yeah. And yeah, the Dutch um, wouldn't have made a difference at all. Yeah. No, no, now we will really be able. Fight. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. And so, now we will be able to see a lot of allies. allies. So Topher got a lot of lackeys there, which I think yep. was the big difference. Oh, and they got the bridge earlier too. Yeah. That that sounds like the difference to me. Mm -hmm. Being player yeah. one, getting getting the lackeys and getting the bridge earlier. Yeah, I'm still wondering about how would it that have impacted if they rotated the student turn uh, the first time they played it. Yeah, I think that would have been crippling. Yep.
Marky. Not that doof. Marky with Highwayman. Looks like there's going to be a lot of good drawing. Oh, there's Battle Plan as well. Uh, was it a glitch that you can't use Fellowship of Scribes after playing a Seek of Land? Or am I remembering it wrong? Uh, you definitely can't after discarding with Capital City. Unless that has been fixed. Yeah. I don't know about the sycophant. I remember at least reading about it, but okay. I'm not sure. I mean, you could probably, if you play sycophant from a five card hand, you're going to be able to trigger it regardless. But I feel like there was some uh, bug or something like that. With, uh... So, well, from what I heard, at least, uh, the capital city has had issues with uh, philosophy of scribes and i'm not sure if i remember correctly but sycophant also had some issues with philosophy of scribes but yeah but with, would be also me remembering wrong with capital city the fellowship of scribes check is after plus one card plus two actions it is not after the entirety of the card so it, it seems like if there's some optional effect um i think it's the general problem I the Fellowship of Scribe checks is too early. For Sycophant, it's mandatory, so that would surprise me, but maybe it's just implemented I think, I think it's about, like, um, when there's an optional thing that's defaulted to not happening. So you have to mm. click a button to do it instead of clicking a button not to do it. Yeah. I don't expect Sycophant is actually going to be bought, probably, so maybe well, not. Well, you can open it. Yeah, but it can keep I've... you going with. Oh, I see. Maybe. Well, they have the two five. Yeah, it's either sycophant or ride in the opening, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, combined with modify, I assume. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess with modify opening, like it is nice to have the extra favors. So yeah, I can see sycophant modify opening. Yeah, and it will keep you going. With modify for longer, you can trust the sycophant for more favors. And <laughs> who needs to read the cards anyway? <laughs> just, just look at the pretty pictures and play with the prettiest ones. <laughs> So uh, we haven't talked much about clashes in this game. Uh, that's going to be impactful. Yeah. Because it uh, always is. Although I think the players are going to be able to draw. Two marquees should be plenty if you have a highwayman um, setting that up. So even if you get attacked by Archer, you're going to start your turn with seven cards. So if you can find a village and a marquee, um, you're going to be able to get to ten cards. Yeah, and I would feel like it can be pretty easy to play around Warlord here. You have a lot of options to play. Yep, two but... different villages on the board. I uh, so interestingly, who opened Highway? Mick opened Highwayman instead of Modify. A little surprising. Do you even bother with the Warlord then? Can you just skip it? I'm. But, but sure like, you still would like to have it. It's uh, still a pretty good card. Yeah. I mean, it's, some it's, uh, draw like for your next turn. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to rush it by any means. And here we yeah. can see Mick Mick getting rewarded for having a highwayman in deck, um, pairing it up with the battle plan. Yeah. And he picked up the modify as a second five, which it seems reasonable. Oh, so Mick didn't open with a modify. Nope. That's interesting. Mick deciding whether or not to use the last favor to try to... Well, I don't know what you try to draw. You wanted to pair the uh, 
modify with the estate, but that clearly didn't work. Oh, hey, there are the estates. Feels bad. Yeah. Cellar. Oh, that was what Topher opened with? Uh-huh. No. Yeah, they <laughs> neither agreed with any of our suggestions for open. I don't like Cellar in this kingdom. Like, you have Capital City and Marquee for, like, filtering. Well, it is going to make you see your modify a lot more. If you can keep having favors, then Shellar can have its benefits, but also it's not something that I would like to have. Oh, hey, there are colonies on this, on this board. Yep. I think Modify is going to end up being... Excuse me. I think Warlord is going to end up being useful. There's no rush to get it, but um, I do think it's going to inhibit your opponent to mm -hmm. like not be able to play three capital cities or three towns or three marquee. Yeah. I do yeah. think it's going to hurt. Uh, I went on an archer. Archer's yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. To get that, see how Although yeah. archer, isn't, archer isn't as impactful versus highway, highway man. It still, yes. it still hurts, but it's not crippling like it could be on other boards. Yeah, I guess Sea Hag is another attack you could consider. Modify is okay. Curse Trashing, it's, it's decent. So I would and not feel great right about it. Modify. Yeah. I think I I just want to buy a town here. I would, would okay. really like to hit town more plus with right. the spoon there. Yeah, both players are not really building to hit uh to hit six. So we'll see the first war hard now, probably. Presumably. Totally like fine to get like capital city here instead but it's scary to pass up the opportunity to buy warlord <laughs> yeah and it's definitely a good card for your deck and also no yeah I actually does make have an archer yeah i missed it for some reason so yeah. no warlord is for me tofer rotates away from warlord I don't think that matters too much. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if Tofer has any action cards more than two copies of not no. No. Not right now, no. And I wouldn't imagine they would run into that issue soon anyway. So they would have expect to see them buy more modifiers or something like that. Wonder if Mick should trash the sycophant. I think I would. Uh, you can keep having some favors and you can draw one more with it. So um, gain another town here, assuming Mick only has the one. Uh, I don't know the situation. Yep, maybe decides to draw. Mick can buy a Marquis now if he draws with. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's for some of them. Ah, I forgot about uh, Fellowship of Scribes. Uh, good yeah. to get the Highwayman in play, and I, I'd pick up a Capital City here, probably. Sounds yeah, good. I like Capital City. It's, is it Mick that has two modifies, right? I think Mick has the two modifies. I'm not positive, though. Yeah. Okay. Person Man says Mick has two. Good, good. It does mean you're gonna need to... Like, are you going to try to get a Platinum somehow? Or what's the payload? So, interestingly, Topher held on to the Archer instead of the Warlord. Um, I mean, that makes sense. They want to be able to... Well, yeah, they want to be able to buy a four-cost card, I guess. And to correct myself from before, it seems that they have been able to spend favors after using Seekerfan. So, I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, we forgot about the highwayman attack. The seller proving its lack of value. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
it triggered. It did trigger a shuffle. Yeah. So that, I guess those nine cards are good. It's good to not have seller in the shuffle. It's true. <laughs> uh, it's got to be a town. Town for Topher. Uh, uh, you don't have uh, four money. They have three money. What? Uh, highwayman only possible. Oh, yeah. highwayman has an attack. Incredible. It is a very strong card, indeed. Yeah. I would like to get some more of those so you can get started more reliable. These archers have been pretty hurtful here. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, Tover doesn't have a highway, man. And it's bad either way for Tover now, whichever he decides to, whichever they decide to uh, discard battle plan or warlord because I'm not sure they would like to keep both of them. Mick does not. Oh, there's only there's another battle plan left. This is I've never seen this in my games. <laughs> <laughs> Drawing deck, very nice. Can this is indeed modify very nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, that that's all good. Yeah, Mick is looking really good here. And you can get a marquee, although like you don't even need the extra draw. But hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I want a marquee, but maybe it seems good for reliability reasons. You might want to get a gold? No, you have a capital city, so you can discard like for two coins. Like Yeah. Another capital. Okay. Hmm. I'm not. This might be able to hit platinum. I'm not Maybe. totally sure, but I think it might. We'll see. That's definitely the goal. Like yeah, this is a lot of draw. I don't think you can discard. With both capital cities, so maybe just one. Well, well, you could definitely hit. Oh, town can be played as coins. Yeah, yeah that's nice. I mean, you can. Okay, okay. You can definitely hit platinum here, but maybe you can't get like. You, maybe you can't play modify and or the highwayman. In which case... I think you just you. Oh, I see. Uh, I mean, you definitely play highwayman. I, I think. Um, yeah, I think you're right that this mix should be able to get platinum here. Uh. By playing Capital City here, discard two coins, and then it's just a question of how many modifies you can cantrip like Trashing Copper and still afford uh, a, a colony. In fact, maybe you can discard two with <laughs> Capital City. I, I don't think you want to buy colony. <laughs> oh, did I say colony? Yeah. <laughs> no, sorry. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you're, you're one draw short of being able to discard with both capital cities and then modify cantrip both times. Nice. Yeah, this looks kind of over. Yeah, make us up to one. I think the, I, I don't know if it's, okay, it is over in, in, <laughs> in matter of fact. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of game left, but Mick was in such a um, consistent position with the Highwayman. Topher's... I think Topher was really feeling the lack of Highwayman there, and also hadn't trashed as much because they only had the one modify. Yeah. Yeah. And in this position, Mick can play for a tie and win this tournament. Yep, yep. Yep, up 3-1, potentially the last game. Match point. Oh, yeah, that was the fastest Clash game I've experienced. However, I've mostly only just played them, and uh, I and, can believe I'm just really slow at playing them. <laughs> and, the, and the player that got the Warlord lost. Oh, <gasps> That's going on. Oh, no. That might not even be going on the stats. <laughs> yeah, the, the pile was obviously still very strong, though, because Archer was doing really good work, and yep. battle, battle plan is just... It's a lab when it, when it hits, <laughs> which it did yeah. quite regularly. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Warlord in particular was not super strong in that 
game. Highwayman was definitely more important. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we didn't we didn't have that on our radar for opening with, um, but it worked out very well for Mick. For sure. Uh, does oh, Warlord block, uh, block market towns, right? So, hmm. Let's see. I think so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we have clashes again. We have uh, <laughs> Sentinel trashing. Both players are going to open Sentinel. Mick pairs it with a broker, and uh, Topher pairs it with a courier. This courier really save Topher because I wouldn't like to have a bottom deck it. This is really nice. Yeah, yeah, this I like this. It's incredible turn for wow Topher. It's really nice. So, what is the broker plan for Mick? Is capital city correct here for Topher? It can help uh, Tof yeah, get rid of those estates from hand and get money and trust them with Sentinel. Oh, Mick draws. Oh, and then you can do market towns. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. that's just one free market towns. Mm -hmm. But if you trash the estates here, then what is your broker doing? <laughs> and if you don't trash the estates, like, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know what you do here. I guess, yeah. yeah Maybe trash good. one estate? Yeah, probably. And then maybe later on you can uh, broker the Sentinel. I guess, or you can swap one or the other. That's probably better, yeah. Definitely not inspired by the broker opening. And with yeah. uh, Courier, uh, Capital City is a nice um, synergy with Courier. Indeed. Yeah, and also Capital City can help Blacksmith if uh, Tofar decides to go for them. Yeah. Yeah, I like the, the split piles are pretty good in Warlord games because there's, yeah, there are extra cards you can get to play two copies of. So I think the Townsfolk yeah. are kind of good here. That's... Ooh. Can you play Courier here as Topher? Yeah, yeah. there's swap. There's swap down there. There's swap. And then there's Capital City is the other card. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So Topher will be hundred percent sure to yeah, play either or. Oh awesome. This is this is a great turn. This is a great turn indeed. Uh the problem here is Courier Courier. Uh, discarding top cards. Oh, not, uh, you not can optional. send it and set it. Uh, you can set this. Uh, choose which cards. So top courier. Yeah. It's okay. Sentinel. It's all working out. Although there's nothing to swap. So. Yeah. I. You, you can leave that somewhere. on top. Yeah. And just play the copper. Yeah. Some plus buy would start to quite fine for Topher here. But Bob doesn't impress me as a boy. Oh yeah, you're right. That's hmm, awkward. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's time to bet. How much money are we going to spend buying Bob? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you might swap one career for Archer here. Sounds good. Hmm, maybe you can. If you load up on swap and swap targets, maybe you can like take all the warlords in a single turn or something. Fun. Did you need to draw there as Topher? I feel like you didn't. These courier. Mm, I feel like Topher could have done more with the capital city courier uh, interaction there. Would the turn have changed? Oh, maybe not. Maybe they had enough actions. Maybe it's all fine. Yeah. I feel like it should be pretty reasonable for Tofer to uh, set up uh, maybe three Warlords next turn if they buy a swap here. Wait, does Tofer have a battle plan? They don't. No, no. Okay. so it's it doesn't seem unless Mick decides to <laughs> rotate it for <laughs> some reason. <laughs> Please take all. The, please take all the warlords. I think it's a bad card. <laughs> Interesting. 
Yeah, this is so weird. Like, when's Topher gonna get that bobble? <laughs> I have no clue. I guess the Tendalar bobble. I don't know. Why wait? Like, what's that capital city doing for you? Yeah, you can get some more money for a bobble. <laughs> And yeah, you can just with bubble you can stack up on these cheap actions like tone crier and swap them for anything you want. So plus buy is really good here for swap targets. I would yeah like at least yeah plus buy looks really important. Like you, have, you, you can have... you can always have two extra money for a tone crier. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have the swap uh, rotating split pile situation here, so we could have like. A town crier is just randomly interspersed uh, in that pile, potentially. That's great. So, this turn you should buy a bubble. Oh, it's only a $4 bubble now. Somehow. <laughs> <laughs> So it's definitely better to buy it this turn than it would have been to buy it last turn because you're wasting less. I mean, you can... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this broker seemed really awkward, to be honest. It might be Did good it to. Do anything uh, impressive? It might be good to to start gaining silvers with a town cry or something. Topher needs to get payload somehow. Uh, what is the draw in this game, though? Uh, you can go with Capital City Blacksmith. Yeah, it has to be Blacksmith. Yeah. yeah. And it, it's not hard to set up a Blacksmith draw here. So I think the Villager pile is not optional. But maybe you want to be in a position, as Topher is, is close to being in the position where you can like nab three Blacksmiths in one turn yeah, that's... via swap. Although... You can't play three of them against Warlord. Oh, yeah, maybe that doesn't matter. Although you could, uh, you could broke Warlord. Well, you can deny the one. Denial, oh, yeah. The denial is go... pretty good. Yeah, you can oh, trash true. it. Oh, that's true. You can do Capital City Courier tricks. So you can play it oh. from Oh, that's cute. You can play it from the discard. But you can only play two Couriers from your hand. So you can have a two there, extra place of yeah. some card you want. Yeah, that's that's interesting. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I like denying the opponent of yeah. blacksmiths anyway. Yeah. Yeah, and what's the alternative here? Maybe broken draw, but it's it's not great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can swap into more expensive cards, and then buy cheap cards and, and broker stuff. So. Okay. Mick still doesn't get the bubble. <laughs> Do we swap into Town Crier? Uh, probably not, right? This is a good turn to buy a Town Crier. I don't know what the swaps are doing. Are you done with Sentinel, maybe? I think you had it's... two coppers left. Yeah. Yep, that makes sense. I feel like there should be no need for getting any more uh, favors in this game. I mean, why? It's nice to have as a buffer, but yeah, it's definitely not the kind of thing you, you sustain. I mean, it's like a poor man's villager. Yeah. Like, you can use it to play extra archers. I would have liked to get that town crier there. You could have the setup to gain some blacksmiths and keep on drawing capital city and so on. Yeah, I mean, you could have you could have swapped the sentinel into a town crier, played the town crier, and then bought blacksmith. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused by the lack of town crier purchase there. Uh, one more courier doesn't to that much in this point, at least for Town Crier, to me. Yeah, I would have gotten a Town Crier. Oh, I guess Courier is draw together with Capital City. 
because Courier is kind of a peddler, and Capital City can turn money into draw. So we still haven't seen Topher take advantage of the like discard with Capital City to play a particular action with Courier. Um, so okay. okay. There we go. <laughs> You're clean. I don't know if that what? was necessary. Yeah, why did you? Why do you they, need to do that? Why didn't they do that last turn? Do they only think they had one copper left? Because like they had a perfect setup last turn to to trash their last coppers. Maybe here we see a turn prior. Hmm. Well, the game is proceeding. It is. Slowly. <laughs> Very much so. Oh, and... Oh, good thing you got that second bobble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being a jerk, but get the town. Let's go. Yay. <laughs> okay, is is so Nick potentially is Nick I think you can get three blacksmiths here as Topher. It would be really good for the game. I mean you could maybe even get four. Yeah. Mm, I don't yeah. think you can actually afford to buy two. Mm -hmm. I think you can either double swap by one or you can single swap by two. I don't, I highly doubt. Uh, but you can, if you they can... can gain it through hand, uh, they can just discard the price with Capital City. If, if you uh, find a Capital City, yeah. 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 That, might, that might work. They have three and... in there, so they're definitely finding them. Yeah. Like, play the Town Crayer. Uh... <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess you have. I mean, you have, you have to hope it's on the top two cards. Top yeah, three. I would imagine yeah, you would uh, potentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Maybe you can swap that Sentinel for a Capital City, and if that other swap stays around, then no, just no, go no. There. If you're going to you get swap it for blacksmith, yeah. Uh, I don't know what your second swap target is. It's not great to give up Archer. I, I, I just don't think it's that important. No. Three versus four. No. I would like to keep the archer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did I say archer? I was aiming the sentinel. So, what is Mick doing? Does Mick have one swap? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is Mick doing? That's a good question. Okay, archer first to draw with capital. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that this hurts. Definitely. This really hurts, Topher. I hadn't considered this at all. Do you protect the town crier? Yeah. Looks like it. Because like you uh, can't you can't protect the swap anyway, and you don't really care about protecting the archer. I think the sentinel discard is the most inconvenient thing that Mick can do, but he doesn't know that. <laughs> That's true. I mean, isn't swap toss? Just as bad? No. Like, you don't want to swap a swap for a blacksmith. You really want to swap a sentinel for a blacksmith. Yeah, and mm. then you'll leave a Topher with more search space for a capital city. Mm. Yeah, so so long as Topher finds a capital city within the top two cards, this turn is still really good. Yeah. So now Mick is back oh. clean as well. All oh, right. I was confused how Mick managed to trash an odd number of cards, but then I remember that they had broker for a while. So we had 19 out of 20 starting cards in the trash. Now what? Second swap makes sense. Maybe double down crier. Yeah, they're good swap targets. Yeah, that's career is pretty fine. 
Yeah, this looks... You can you can just swap Sentinel for a swap and Kuria is swap for Warser Spade. Yeah, well, that's nice. It's yeah, this out. is this is looking great. So you discard Archer Bobble, right? I think so. Then you. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. I feel like you should have drawn blacksmith first, and then you can keep swapping for capital city. But no, I... that's a wasted swap, right? Yeah. That you could have been gaining a, a blacksmith with. Well, yeah. I'm not sure if there's there are many targets, but maybe the courier for a blacksmith doesn't. Yeah. Now they only it. drew three cards with the blacksmith as well, so they wasted draw there. So do they? You can still get by double, almost triple. When I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, you definitely could have gotten all four then here. Yeah. Because there's clearly resources wasted here. But three doesn't seem too bad, and also. Gaining four blacksmiths probably would make me gain those warlords that we haven't seen by this point. And wait, couldn't you just wait? Couldn't you just have played the capital city? Yeah, you can discard them, but there it makes them at least more awkward play. Wait, if if you have four, if you would have four blacksmiths and make would play a warlord. But yeah, double blacksmith and bubble. Seems right to me. Yeah. Uh, so now you discard capital city and keep careers. So let's see. Mick Mick wants the blacksmith and doesn't need the sentinel anymore. Although, yeah, I don't think Topher needs three bubbles. This is awkward for Mick. They needed the village. Yeah, really awkward. Oh, yeah. Oof. You might. Do you swap the archer for a capital city here? Oh, it's so sad. Imagine if that second town cray was a swap. This turn would have been so good. Yeah. I feel like this turn not going well for Mick will probably be kind of game ending, not yeah, Mick... defying, but uh, at least putting it towards the first end. I'm pretty sure that Dofer will be able to. Like, you do have a battle plan down there. So you can cantrip the blacksmith, hope to draw it, play it, reveal archer, draw a couple cards, you have a decent turn. But Mick definitely seems quite behind. The The broker open did not work out. Yeah, and Dofer has a great starting hand here. He can... Uh... Uh, discard the capital city and maybe bubble whatever he cross with the capital city and blacksmith uh, career the other capital city and keep on uh, blacksmithing. But yeah, okay. He does swap the archer into capital city. Um, doesn't get to do the attack, but I don't think that matters. It's not like Dofer will be getting three archers or rotating files because <laughs> Dofer doesn't have any battle plans. I don't, but I, I don't, I mean, three archers doesn't make sense. Like, yeah, the attack I, it's, doesn't stack. It's not so. happening. So, so you're and, right, and, and, Topher, and Topher still doesn't have a battle plan, so it really doesn't matter. So just yeah. Uh, let's see. So this is eight and two buys. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that Archer attack would have not hurt Topher here too. Yeah, yeah. Mick would know it. Obviously, totally not all. Maybe you get. Hmm. I think you might get another swap here. 
like swap swap underling because you want to swap away these town criers because they're not good i don't think i care for courier miller like that doesn't actually improve your deck at least at this, this point it doesn't seem likely that uh, miller would change anything by a huge margin i'm thinking if you get swap underling then you can uh, you can rotate the clash pile once you find the battle plan, and then you can rotate away. You, then you can swap out your town criers and your underling for gore lord and stuff. Hi guys, I'm back. Yay! Hello. Awesome. Lost internet connection for a while. Rip. So how many blacksmiths did Topher end up with? Three. Uh, three. But they perfect. But they clearly misplayed that turn. So I'm pretty sure they could have gotten four without too much problem yeah i would say the same they ended the turn with two unplayed capital cities in your, their hand uh, oh boy this is a real big thinker board especially with swap yeah yeah i yeah yeah it, you do you would... wait what what why would you draw it? Don't you want Courier to find your capital city? Mm. No. True. <laughs> Although I don't think... I, I guess you don't... No, that's true. You need to find that capital city. I think there's... Is there two in there? No, there's only one. Mm. I just would have played Courier City. Like, Courier first, right? You can do all this other stuff with Town uh, if you want. You maybe want to swap away the Courier. Like, you can swap the Courier into an Elder. Oh, that's the plan. I see. I see. Gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. I'm... Womp womp. This attack will be pretty, I don't... pretty hurtful for me. Wait. Turn. Wait. What? Was that a misclick? Why would you? Uh, why would you get? I don't think you. I'm not sure that you swap out anything. Yeah. Maybe I just want to buy it back and gain a higher costing card. Oh yeah, that like that could be a that could be a play. No, but like they so got a, they got they got an elder. Like surely. It's true. Got... It's well, true. What? On the other hand. <laughs> what? Like. Now they can't. Now they can't discard with Capital City for money and draw back up. No, they can. They have another. Oh, they have sense. another one. Okay. Yeah. It all worked out. So it okay. was a discount. Sure. Uh, capital yeah, this City. is great. This is good play. Fantastic okay. play. Yep. Topher knows what's in his deck. <laughs> we, we're we're still working on it. We forgot. We forgot the third one. And just okay. a second ago, yeah. you confirmed that uh, Topher did get three blacksmiths. I um, mean, yeah. I... I'm apparently, I'm apparently goldfish. <laughs> Anyways, very nice play from Topher this turn, and I assume very yeah. much they will buy this blacksmith. Yes. Yeah, I would, I would imagine too. It probably is annoying for Topher to not have a battle plan. That's that's probably that's the thing that I like the least about Topher's position. Yeah, and now they don't have a no, they do have a taunt card at least, so they can. Do you really need favors? Oh, I'm... What, what, whoa, what? no, what? don't give up that blacksmith. And yeah. I'm just, I'm wondering what is Dofer going to use those favors on? I, I mean, Dofer has three favors now, and there hasn't been a single time that Dofer has need more, needed more actions here. I mean, what, what, what else are you taking? Uh, <laughs> like, buy, you take the favors buy. if... You could, uh, uh, you could, but like the the plan, like the buys were decided. The, like the favors yeah. just come when you don't need anything else yeah. from the baubles. Yeah. It's not like Topher's like, oh, I really need these favors. It's just here's what my buys yeah. are. Here's I can use the rest for favors. I mean, but yeah, I, I would have taken. I don't know exactly what I would have taken, but probably a blacksmith in one province. <laughs> if you want the green, you could just take a province blacksmith and a capital city. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. That sounds great. It, it seems a lot better to me now. You just give me. Another blacksmith switch will probably and you made it over mixed deck a uh, lot better. Yeah, and you made it less likely for your turn to kick off. Like, you need a blacksmith to kick off your turn. And, oh, hey, guess what? An archer attack makes that harder. Because you really need a capital city plus a blacksmith Ooh. or an elder plus a blacksmith. Yeah. Like, 
it's just good to have a little more reliability in this kind of game. So yeah, I like province blacksmith capital city um, instead of the double province we just saw. Yeah, this might be a comeback opportunity for Mick. I really feel like that's a play that will allow Mick to. <sighs> what do you swap into blacksmith though? You can't swap the to town crier. You don't want to swap the battle plan. So I guess it's a swap. Swap into blacksmith. Uh, why not the town crier? You can't. Yeah, it will go at the top. Oh, <laughs> I would totally have done that and then requested it. <laughs> well, no. Hmm. Okay. So are they is Mick gonna buy those cards back? Hmm. Oh you can roll it away the town crier now. To expose the the blacksmith and then, then you can buy it that's nice nice because you need like you want to swap away the town criers because they're bad so this works out I'm less sure about Elder versus Capital City. Because once again, like if you buy the Elder, you can swap your Town Crier into Capital City. If there's any left. Mm. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, this works. Oh, right and back is Roman. Sorry, what did you say? Uh, I just said I'm back. Ah. Issues. It's good. It's good. Good that that I have two co-commentators, and you can take turns having issues. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm not sure if Aku is here now. Yeah, I, I am. Okay. I just don't have <laughs> don't have much to say. Yeah, it's a weird game. Yeah, it's definitely a thinky one. Uh, that's unfortunate. You can play it with the elder. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so maybe you should have eldered the town crier before playing the blacksmith. Oh, don't you play the Elder? I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, you have plenty of actions. Yeah. Nice. What's the last card? Elder as Duchess. <laughs> uh, as she. This card to Duchess, actually. The last card is an Archer. Yeah. Well, All it right. wouldn't have hurt me too much, I would imagine. Yeah. Oh, well, looks like uh, this is a hurtful hand. Yeah, I I don't know what you do if you get attacked by Archer. <laughs> keep the courier. That's like your hope. Yeah, I, I guess you just keep the courier. I mean, to hope to high roll and find a capital city. Which oh uh, no, you don't have another courier. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, if you you hope to find a capital city and uh, it draws a swap, so you can. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you definitely for... keep the courier because, like, either you can, either you can courier whatever you draw, you you toss from the top, or you can courier the blacksmith that they toss from your hand. 
So you have a search, so... you have a search base of two from the top of your deck to find oh, the stuff you The need. Warlord comes into play. Finally. This might be the second game in a row where the one player who gets Warlord loses. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> yep, this Mick actually... has quite the comeback to mount, but this is a bad looking hand for Topher, so it is possible. Yeah, and and Topher does have a lot of capital cities and stuff, so I guess Yeah, it... it'll hurt. Yeah, yeah, the players just like forgot about it. Kind of was like, meh, Warlord's not gonna happen, right? Uh-huh. And now it's a double attack. Triple attack. <laughs> Triple attack. So yeah, me assessment of Blaze's Warlords from here on out. I guess that it will make mm. uh, make playing their uh, blacksmiths a bit more awkward, but also they draw up one so it's not like a huge deal. Oh, Mick doesn't have the archer. Oh my goodness. Oh right, yeah, they have to swap it away. So do you play Queer first here and pop to find the capital city or? I think you have to. Yeah. Like if you can't play if the he... blacksmith as draw, well, I guess that's not how it worked. Yeah, courier would have worked. Yeah, it courier mean, would have saved this turn. You would have yeah. swap and swap archer for capital city. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. To... Yep. Yeah, that was a misplay. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it wasn't that unlikely to find a capital city or a swap. I feel like uh, the first maybe four or five capital cities and like three or four swaps. So almost like maybe four depression to find like. So elder would have worked. Uh, elder would also have worked. Yeah. So yeah. So there yeah. was many options to find it. it. It wasn't even unlikely to have a, a higher elder. <laughs> Look at these elders. <laughs> Oh. Oh, this is great. Now you can draw At there. least a the... Topher. Nice. Chat's, chat's going to love it. Nice. I love yeah, it too. That's about, oh, yeah. Well, now we're, now we're starting to hit the, the Warlord limit. You have to think a bit what you're doing now. I think that was a really, you really can good play from Topher. Cap... Yeah, for sure. Uh, that was really creative. Career. I think if you buy two provinces, like, how does Mick win? Yeah. Uh, uh, they should have discarded capital cities so they can play it to Courier. Yep, yep, yep. So, Man, they this... missed on some, on some amount of money, but it's not the biggest of deals, but at any house, it's lost money. So the problem with having favors is you have to keep on refusing to play with market towns. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, do double province town crier or something? Seems good to me. I would they not play bubble? I'm not sure what the undo is for. Yeah, I'm not like it's not like you wouldn't maybe, play ah, maybe they uh, accidentally clicked something with the market town yeah uh, yeah coin buy and then coin favor gotta collect those favors that's like the tiebreaker yeah i mean you you try to stash them away for the next game and start with the mm -hmm. legal mm -hmm. bankers oh top deck that's sure the other option that Bobble does. I guess that protects against Archer? I think it was a good play. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't hurt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This looks but yeah, really, really, really tough for Mick to come back. For sure. Yeah, yeah that broker play was very smart. I would not have seen that. Yeah, there's... Uh, me neither, me neither. <laughs> There's so many cute, um, like, play stuff you can do. As we have seen, Warlord isn't that great of a card in these last two games. So... That's what we're learning. Warlord sucks. 
Heard it here yeah. first. <laughs> Warlord and Hunter. Hunter's okay, except that it's terrible. Right. <laughs> That's a good description. It's from the. I request an undo when you can request a resign. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's the standard move. You start reaching for the under button, and then you're like, no, "Yeah, I don't, oh, yeah, I I'm... don't actually care." <laughs> I felt that before. Yes. Like, is there even what's? I guess there's territory. So there's a bunch of alt VP. True. True. But one province has uh... been, has been trashed. And territory is at max four VP and. I'm not sure that Nick can get that many of those. I mean, yeah, realistically, Tof is just one, but I don't think Tof is at, it's that close to half VP yet. I agreed. Yeah, um, prov yeah. provinces and duchies by themselves are, are 36 VP. There's 60 VP left. No. Yeah. So, yeah. So, Topher has one third VP. I guess. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> one, more, one more province, like, <laughs> really locks it. So, Mick needs to gain six duchies and two provinces and an estate, right? Uh, Let's 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 talk short term. <laughs> what if, Mick needs Mick more. Like needs another bauble. Yes. <laughs> Doesn't he? Yeah. Yes. Um, like, how are you going to mount this comeback if you can only buy two cards per turn? Hmm. It's actually not like Mick, gaining golds with territory would be pretty good here. So it's a bit of more baubles. Yeah, but like having uh, having capital cities empty would turn on gold gaining and then you can gain a lot of payload yeah but yeah the bobble is the hold up right now so Mick does remedy that buys a bobble of 14 coins or 16 coins or whatever well this isn't the turn uh, oh never mind it is <laughs> the power of the capital city <laughs> There's the broker. Maybe you want to. Uh, is there anything in this card file? It's useful. No. No, there's the blacksmith. Yeah, no, yeah. And the capital city. Oh! You could have played the capital city there. These elders really have not lined up with yeah. blacksmith for Topher. I guess it doesn't really matter. They should be. From so Elder on Broker there. can can win the game here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they so. Yeah. Yeah. You uh, probably want another action if you can get it. Like if you can play the swap, find a capital city. But they have now sure. uh two body more elder, four money, two from Bobos and Trust Broker. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. It, it is it is in hand. Yeah. So you can even take eight favors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so they can keep playing. You could actually, you could actually use Market Towns to play the Elder to get some extra money. Wow. The city. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, so Topher didn't have a battle plan the entire game, but managed to win. Yeah. Didn't end the game with a single clash card. Yeah, Archer uh, is definitely helpful though. <laughs> sure. Uh, so it's three-two, still match yep. points. So. And we did here, have League of Bankers, but they neither player managed to smuggle their favors into this game. Oh no. <laughs> there is guild masters that can gain a lot of favors, especially with specialist and swap in here. And sycophant. But you. Again, have to rely on Bobble for your plus buy. <laughs> the, the tragedy. <laughs> but 
I would imagine that you can just uh, use Guild Master for specialist uh, swap, or maybe have... conjurers, everything. We have five liaisons. <laughs> nice. Which is pretty yes. wild. And like swap with Sycophant, yeah, like I think League of Bankers is going to be a big deal here. Yes. So, but the only draw. Oh, I guess Capital Cities draw. You're going to. Yeah, Capital yeah draw, draw is definitely weak. It's Capital City and Lich yeah. for draw. Oh, Banker. Oh, wait. Bankers? Starting your buy phase. You don't get the money during your action phase. That's too bad. Yeah. That would have made the board a bit more interesting. That would have been sick. At least Guildmaster is draw after your first Capital City play. True, true. Oh, wait. Guildmaster triggers and swap. Yeah. yeah. It triggers yeah. some specialist as well and Conjurer. Yeah, you just. Play Guildmaster yep. to you swap uh, Sycophant or something away. else back to Sycophant. Yeah, you just gain absurd amounts of, of favors. Nice. This is League of Bankers' dream come true. Nice. We need some more plus five, better plus five, I would imagine. But <laughs> Oh, wait, did we have a double student open? Yeah, cool. I guess if Traveling Fair was in the kingdom, that would be quite a lot better. <laughs> This is some heavy trashing, but I think, but I guess that makes some sense with League of Bankers. Like you're gonna hit pay, like trashing coppers makes you hit money. Okay, this innkeeper should be cantrip, and then you play student again on the estate and buy bauble, right? Yeah, I like that. Or or a sycophant, you get the money trigger from League of Bankers. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sycophant. Oh, so you can gain a specialist or guildmaster. Please, for everyone, for, for Cavo Sapien's sake, please get a bubble. <laughs> to <laughs> Tover's not going to be able to afford a bubble. No, no. They can, <laughs> they can, if they trash two coppers, they get eight favors, and that's two money, and that's ah, a bubble. Ah, yeah. very clever. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so League of Mangas is OP. <laughs> Nick, on the other hand, wants to not buy anything and instead cycle through some cards. Uh-huh. No! Still oh, wait. Oh, I gave it. Wait, I guess that's still two. Yeah, it works out. It works out. Don't worry. But who no needs... Bubble. Why not? <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't buy a bubble, though. <laughs> please, this turn. Please. <laughs> Maybe $5 bubble. I mean, yeah, this is a lot of money. From Topher. Uh, eh. Not really. It's... So if you trash so... uh, It's one, two, it's five money. What? If you trash the sycophant? Uh, if they can no, just if you just, five if money you by play... trashing any state or the copper. If you play the sycophant... Just sycophant away. Sycophant gives you yeah, three but... money. But then you can't play student. You can play student first. Oh, if you discard at least one card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're... Yeah, so that's a $5 bubble. These these cards. Sorry, I haven't played too many games. Yeah, no worries. You you do the, the mix strategy. Who needs to, who needs to read <laughs> the cards? It wasn't the $6 bubble. So do it's so fun to see these numbers go up. Yes. Do you trash the six? This is a real Timmy, oh, I... Timmy kind of uh, ally. So now there's three money from. I wonder if we'll be able to get mm. over a hundred favors here. No. If you no. get a couple of guild masters <laughs> in play, I and mean, just start I mean, swapping away, it's possible. I mean, it's just the, the draw is too weak. I feel like. Yeah. If there was a good draw in this kingdom, yeah, that that could be possible. Yeah, I don't. Innkeeper doesn't impress. Yeah, there's no draw we established. Therefore, warehouse is bad. I so like... there is some debate for chat. I guess it mostly depends if they decide to start buying promises or decide to build, but. Mick still doesn't have a bubble. 
<laughs> Maybe we get that seven dollar for a It's yeah, not there... six either. I think I think you build here. I don't. Mm, I just. Mm, I think you build no. to double province. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, definitely. I like I like the heavy favor being able to double province. At the very least, you want to be able to threaten like province duchy. But I think you can go all the way to like you just see what your opponent's doing. But I I would build with double province in mind. Yeah, yeah. And, and like you'll probably they are getting pretty thin. You can uh, give draw with uh, guild master after capital city first capital city. So it helps at least. But this wow. is not. At least okay. there is 12 of that starting cards. Is, it, so, is it second bubble now? I would like it. Could be. What do you, what do you, you're like really thin as Topher. What do you do next? What, what's your path to victory now? I Guild think Master it's. Specialist spot. Yeah, it's got to be Guildmaster. So you want, you want to be able to afford Guildmaster on your next turn. Is this uh, a. I feel like I want. I think this up. is a rotate. Like Conjurer is good with swap. Yeah. And Conjurer I think it's, also has I think he doesn't want to play that doesn't want to play that student. Wants to buy um Guildmaster. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah, this in Caper would be better as an underling. For sure. Well they can just can repeat it. But yeah. I guess you can use it as a warehouse here, and it's pretty decent. We got a bubble! All right, all right. Mix on the board. Imagine how strong this would be if the bankers would be at the start of your turn, not the start of your right phase. Yeah, that'd be so cool. All makes sense. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Get a second bubble now. Bubble swap. Mm-hmm. Swap one of your students. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds really. Or a second. Yeah, you have you have multiple options for swap. Yeah, I mean who needs yeah. who needs more buys? Like yeah, I would have gotten the bobble there yeah. because, like, when else are you going to get the second bobble? That was like an idea. Specialist time, That's... right? Uh, oh, you can. Kubo had a good point. You can specialize them. You can gain them oh. and play them twice. And so yeah. there's actually. At the... mm. That's not efficient. No. Like, you can <laughs> do so that, cool. sure. You could also just spend <laughs> two coins and buy a bobble. <laughs> like, specialist on treasure is just not efficient. Like, you can do it, but. Yeah. <laughs> Bobble cost too. Yeah. I mean, it, it does mean you get the favors before the buy phase. So. Which means you you, you might get a legal bank <laughs> breakpoint, but. Uh... Ooh, breakpoint. That's some, that's some new Dominion terminology. <laughs> 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 Gotta hit the multiples of four. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we got a guild master with a single buy. Uh, Mick does have a bobble somewhere in there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, this is like fine. This is like a fine turn. Sure. Probably another guild master or a swap. I don't think Mick has the sycophants though, right? So, and just the one student which he wants to keep. So I don't think a swap is doing as much for Mick. Well, I would feel I like mean, you can, you can swap. would be pretty fine for uh, Mick. Yeah, specialist is. I mean, you uh, can. Could, you can be good. I mean, you can take the swap and then swap an innkeeper into a specialist. And like, and it's also nice you gain a, a favor gaining another guild master. Like, this innkeeper can be swapped I agree. away. The innkeeper, yeah, the innkeeper is a target. Yeah. And and uh, yeah. I think the student is getting. Uh, is pretty. No, Mick needs that student. student. He only has the one. Yeah. Mick still has has junk cards. Sure. But I mean, yeah. Uh, if you can, if you can play and draw it, you can trash like, like. I think two cards. estates, two coppers is what Mick has left. 
Okay, two. Yay! Entry. We got another bubble now. Yay! Twenty. Oh, it's so exciting to see that number go up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to think that we will be hitting hundred, like I. Yeah, maybe. So at the beginning. Uh, I'd buy fifty. Uh, I think fifty the over for sure. Definitely. They, they, it, it, it getting favors will accelerate really fast with good masters. Some stuff going on here. Oh, why would you throw it up that thing? No, I get. I think they just want to discard differently. Differently. Uh, yeah. Maybe they want to play the student and redraw it or something. Maybe you should keep keep the bauble. Like maybe that's the most important card to keep. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. They are gonna want the plus buy here. They for sure money. So I don't think you're guaranteed to draw all the cards you discard. So so maybe you toss no. Maybe it's just student copper and it's the draw one yeah. capital city or could be I or mean, ten capital city. I wanna I wanna play the <laughs> student. <laughs> So all the people recommending specialist in the chat, I, like you just need to keep in mind. It yes, it is obviously good in the best case scenario, but like there is the bad case scenario where you just don't see it with the card you really want to target, um, and then, uh, yeah, I, I do think it's, it's good on this board, but it's important to keep in mind that it is not like strictly better than another copy of the card that you want. Because of yeah. the difficulty of pairing, in particular, Guildmaster, right? Like the Capital City Guildmaster thing. What you want is to play a Capital City, play a Guildmaster, play a Capital City, play a Guildmaster, right? So if you start adding specialists into that mix, it just becomes a little bit uh, less likely to to get that nice cadence. Yeah, that's a great point. Um, hmm. I don't think you want to target Innkeeper either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably not sick. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I think it can be pretty reliable for though for pretty soon because they have trust quite a bit. But uh, oh yeah, Mick, Mick still has yes. issues with all these junk cards. As yeah, yeah. Clear. see here. Sure. Yeah, but I mean, Tofer can potentially play with Whoa. specialist on his on his next turn. I would add. Oh, I guess. Let's imagine the first I guess, card is sick of hand to. I guess city. playing the capital city for draw would possibly have triggered a bad shuffle there. Yeah, I think Mick was just counting out how many cards he would get to draw and like how much money he'd have to spend on that and, and ended up determining, yeah, this is probably the best my turn is going to be anyway. Yeah. Because if you go through the guild master coins to draw with capital city and you're drawing coppers and estates, like your turn is actually ends up worse. And Mick still has, uh, he had two estates. Um, now he has just the one left. Mm -hmm. All right, Mick not getting a second bobble just yet, but goes for the swap uh, sycophant thing. Yeah. Ooh, catching up on favors. Yeah, Ooh. and this looks like it's Although... starting out for uh, Mick. Yeah, Although Mick, well. Mick is player one, so. So it's unfortunate that Topher couldn't get the Guildmaster in play first. I wonder if they shouldn't have swapped for a uh, capital city instead of a, a swap right because then they could have played the guild master and then their second swap like they could have been gaining favors right yeah i i would have liked to gain a capital city at, at the earliest possible play thing i just i just completely sound out i was like oh, swap for swap instead of the swap for for a swap, I was like, it, I just don't. Yeah, know. <laughs> it's, it's hard. It's hard to communicate. The the important point is, Topher has his guildmaster and has swapped literally four times and gotten zero favors from all the swapping, which is sad. Yes. Uh, you you should. Uh, oh, but yeah, this okay, yeah, this fun. is gonna be a lot of favors though. Yeah, I mean, it's three we favors. Are gonna get to hundred. Three favors per card you buy, and if you buy three oh, cards, nine cards, that's. that's Three cards, it's nine favors, yeah. Or maybe right. double right. capital 100, city. Or... 100 is possible. <laughs> it's really possible. It's... Uh, you can top deck also. 
Yeah, um, maybe you adopt a here. Capital City Guildmaster or yeah, something specialist. Yeah, that looks good. Capital City Guildmaster specialist top deck seems really strong. I'm not sure what you use the coin for. 16? You can just you can Wait. just get another favor. You really want them anyway. What's... Yeah, what's going on with that coin? That implies a province buy, I think. I, uh, okay, uh, so don't. It's one. Up. I think. I think that's only one turn too early, actually. Um, but yeah, I would have liked the Capital City Guildmaster Specialist top deck, and then like it's just the plus buy is so inefficient. Right. Like it's a card, yeah. and drawing is hard, right? So I think just holding on to two baubles is reasonable. In which case, as Topher, I would have liked to green this turn, not the previous turn, right? Okay. So top deck Capital City Guildmaster Specialist. Get those favors up to over forty, and like on this turn, and then you're just cruising to double province plus another card, and then like the turn after that, maybe even triple province. But like, yeah, okay. uh, that, that's that's I think how I would have played that. Makes yeah. sense. I feel like if you they just went one more turn with building, like you you should suggest it, uh, they could have got to triple provincing semi reliable. Yeah, it, it was just such a nice opportunity. They they probably just forgot about the top decking option. But yeah, like even top decking Capital City Guildmaster Capital City, that's like the most reliable. Mm -hmm. Add the specialist to the mix, it's like got more upside, but um you don't necessarily get like as good of a turn. But that, yeah. that would it, either way would have been they, great. They also just straight up wasted one coin because they only spent fifteen money. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, which is yeah, which is a big deal. Like sometimes the other options on Bobble don't matter, but they absolutely matter on this board. Yeah, yeah. at the very least, a favor, but potentially top decking is. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, and there's a nice thing with uh, bankers that if you get dodge turns and bad draws, you can still get provinces pretty yep. easily. Yep. So it at least helps with going to a too early or whatever is too early for provinces because it's really unlikely for so far to not be able to buy a province even with like five provinces in his hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to Topher's been ahead the whole game and, and they're very close to the I have literally all green in my hand and I can still buy province. Yeah. Like they're very close to that threshold. Uh, uh, so this exact, is going to be exactly, <laughs> Topher is exactly one favor of that point. So yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this turn, unless something really weird happens. Yeah. Yeah. Like look at this. I. This is just so inefficient compared to top decking Capital City Guildmaster. Gah! For sure. Like all yeah, these swaps, I... they're so nice. But if they were giving favors, they'd be so much nicer. Um, there we go. I feel all like right. it, it wasn't too inefficient. For uh, it wasn't too scary that we could be ending the game or getting some debating position that they would lose. Yes. Okay. This seems this seems correct. Now we can play the capital city, and then you can play the swap. Yeah, that order was incorrect. Yep. Yeah. At least you got your two baubles. Yeah. You can swap for a guildmaster here if you want. I think so. And or you just... can just draw. <laughs> or you cards. can just draw it. <laughs> oh yeah, that, right, that works true. too. All oh, right, that that all works. <laughs> that all works. Oh, you can't play the sycophant though. Yeah, but the opposite order would be better because then you could um, target. Yeah, you could swap the sycophant, which would have been great. Yes. But still looking very strong. What's seventy money for? For sure. Mm. So probably just double province here. Well. Mm, yeah, yeah, it would have been much nicer to have 18. Yep. <laughs> Although... It could have been a favor. Wait. Which you would have gotten if you had <laughs> done some done things a little different, for sure. They had one extra money last turn, so they could just have <laughs> that was, it, put it that as was... a favor, and they would have a good extra money there. Oh, that's true. It would have no. been really useful. So it I mean, actually hurt it, that they didn't use it. I, gu I guess, but it's not like that turn was played optimally. Yeah. Right? Like... <laughs> There were opportunities to get another favor, like we mentioned, playing Capital City first, so that the final swap could actually swap a sycophant yeah. into some other card, um, at and, the very least. And yeah, and now in the end, they wasted two money because they. <laughs> they only... Yeah, not not top decking again. Uh, top decking in Capital City just seems like the thing you want to do. Mm -hmm. 
I feel like with yeah, Bobble, it's pretty easy to miss that opening feature if you don't pay attention to it and think about it. Yeah. Um, but still pretty good looking hand for Topher. Can specialist on the swap and replace a sycophant with whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whatever whatever you need. I'm still hoping for a hundred favors, but I'm starting to be a little less. I'm starting we're starting about to it. doubt, yeah. <laughs> a little, a little, what do we get up one. to? Probably sixties. This is 60, what it's 70, tracking maybe. Yeah. I think it's most. I feel across... like if they had built one more turn, it then it could have been one hundred favors. Yeah, if you build optimally with the guildmaster first line, like you can get a lot. Like Topher had, like four swaps. If you. <laughs> If you play to get like two guild masters into play before that, dang, that's just eight favors just from yeah. the swaps. You can just swap something for sycophant, swap sycophant back to swap. swap Absolutely, yeah. And you get even more. And, just, yeah. and getting like uh, six favors for each swap to sycophant, and four favors for each Wait. swap to swap. Wait, why didn't you could have you could have trashed a couple of three there? And then oh, s- what, did the yeah the last swap didn't draw? Yeah, a little yeah. misplay there for Mick. Unless you need hey, that copper, but I don't think so. so. Mick's in the game. You have to double provinces, Mick, but then Topher's in a oh. tough spot. They they can't double. True. Yeah, maybe all these but... small things actually might matter. Yeah. And with reasonable draw i might believe that they can just uh double promise Dutchie, but it's not like safe either maybe Ooh, estate over yeah. second hand is nick interesting i guess you're player one so the estate makes more sense than it usually does yeah still feels maybe, bad can can maybe they count for a uh, top mm-hmm. getting uh, probably two promises and Dutchie, so they can just mirror it and... yeah can tofer triple with a good draw I feel like if everything goes ideally, which it has not like gone it will go. It is. So yeah, I think at this point the answer is no. Uh, but is that specialist correct? Don't they just need? Oh, I guess they have actions. Yeah, but you still need capital. Space. What's happening here? Well, that was Something. a fortunate draw. Okay, but like, what's the specialist doing? Yeah. Nothing really. <laughs> oh, forget that it was over there. <laughs> <laughs> so like, okay, hopes. okay, specialist guildmaster. No, but you uh, need the capital but, city. And you need you. I feel like you just play the guildmaster and then swap. If you don't find a capital city, just uh, swap the specialist I, for us. Capital city. Agree. That seems right. You want to get that guildmaster in play. Yeah, because if yeah. if you don't find uh, something to swap. It's really bad. Yeah. yeah, you need to you need to get a capital city here. Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, no, you can swap away from Sycophant into Guild Master. Yeah, so they oh, will be able to. Nice. It's quite a money. And they can describe it. Maybe Triple Province. No it, it wouldn't be. Uh, I'm so not really sure, but 11, doesn't seem impossible. 12, 6. And Our specialist is better than Guildmaster, right? 90. Um, not that it matters much. This is this is math time. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, how many favors to get for this swap? Uh, uh, two. Just two. Oh, That's yeah. not a lot. So, they will have 48, so 12 money from. Uh, yeah. Twelve money from a league of bankers. 16, if they discard. Twenty-two. Okay. It's it's exact. It's ex- ah, It's exactly triple. It's twenty-four. Oh, nice. So if they see it, Okusana seems to disagree on that. So you swap uh, you swap uh, sycophant for guildmaster here, uh, and then you have forty-eight favors. So that's twelve money, and then you play two guildmasters. So you have ten money. Um and then you play the two bubbles, which give you two more money. So it's ten plus twelve plus two. 
which is 24. Yeah. Topher decided yeah. to top deck a province. Yeah. It, yeah, it's a triple, so it's really hard for me to win this. Yeah, you can do it with specialist instead. And now they literally could just find a hand with five provinces and still win if we can. Uh, oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> So yeah, it's, yeah. It's that makes it that impossible. makes it impossible. Yeah, yeah, that makes yeah, it impossible to make. So literally, <laughs> yeah, so make it resign right, right here. Sixty-two. You were just saying sixty favors will be what we will end up with. Yeah, nice. Yeah, make make can resign. There's there's literally nothing. There's yep. no out. Yep. You can't get extra gains, or you can't get extra buys. Um, Maybe you can't, specialist you can't get green guys. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that was a fun. Board. Now together, they had over a hundred favors. Yeah, <laughs> so I was correct. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was the most interesting League of Bankers board I've seen. Very cool. More League of Bankers, and Guildmaster, and nice. Gallery, and all right. So and it stuff. seems like we've gone the distance. <laughs> it's three three. It looks so long as we don't have a tie here. We, there will be a winner. Then we get the 100 favors here. We have the same tools, basically. So Guildmaster Specialist and Swap. With Galleria for plus buy. And Student. So so the, the double Student actually really worked out in the last game. Because the draw was so weak. Uh, although here you do have Modify. So... But if you open Student, it's going to be pretty unlikely that you can hit Modify. Unless you open, like... And maybe. Hmm. I feel like Garrison will draw you everything you need here. And then you get set up. All right. Well, maybe a hundred favors here. Yeah, I feel like Garrison single hand makes it a lot more. Garrison possible. with swap, yeah. And an specialist, you can and Galleria for plus buys. You can buy all the royal galleys. If, if, if. Oh, and and Hillfort. Nice. Yeah. And conjurers. Although, okay, okay, let's not get carried. <laughs> okay, we have a, we have a... There's exactly <laughs> one good target to gain. It's Royal Gal. <laughs> I am sure Royal Gal. No, is all but right, like, but... no, but like, you, you can. can bro you can get a brokers and brokers. You can. Brokers. You can. You and can. and swap them away. That's true. Yeah, there is no. Yeah, can... There's no sycophant here. It's important to note. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which would which was part of what made the other board so fast in its um, favor accumulation. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh! But we, I feel like we have some tools that can make up for it. Definitely. So yeah, the openings we have a student broker and a silver broker. And the silver broker, the plan there was to get a uh, modify, which Topher did on turn three. Mm -hmm. They could have got a double modify if they wanted to. So if Topher gets the high roller and finds modify be huge for them. Indeed. So 12.5 Russian chance that will happen. Hey, Topher just got a, a bonkers draw. He bottom decked two estates. Like his turn three, four. That was crazy. So Mick is getting favors fast, considering mm. this. Topher did not find a target for the Royal Galley, so that's not great. Yeah. What did Topher... Oh, oh, Topher drew with the broker. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, maybe that was necessary. All right, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm. They played those turns very fast, and now, now they're slowing down. So now I'm caught up. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not sure about the second modify. I guess it's fine because you can swap them away later. And you do want to get thin pretty fast. Uh, so here, do you modify estate draw and broker for something? To draw that estate. You probably modify the copper. Yeah. Yeah. Conjure looks good. Is there any target for that galley for me? Uh, probably not. You mm, unfortunate for Topher. Very unfortunate for Dover. <laughs> yeah. And the, no uh, but do you, $2 card to buy here. But what, do you even draw there? Like, why do you trigger that shuffle? 
I don't I know. I feel like this... it was a lot better to just gain favors or something like that. This is just a uh, night and day for Topher. He has gained zero favors. Yeah. Whereas last turn, or last game, he had like 24 favors by this turn or <laughs> something absurd. Yeah, so these draws definitely didn't work out, but it feels somewhat self inflicted. Okay. This is awkward for Mick because he's got the galley and can't play the conjure. Yep. He can't buy anything. Jeez. This board looked like it might be stronger, but <laughs> <laughs> maybe they should have just it done what they did to... last turn or last game. Okay. Maybe you uh, trash a silver for favors. I think I like that. No, you could they won't have maybe have a get up end or something. I think Topher is just not playing with League of Bankers or something. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like can Galleria they... is the most important thing at least. Can Topher for even now. can Topher even play that Galleria? Like And if they play it, what will they use the plus buy for? I mean, they're definitely not going to ha have enough money to take use of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's clear. So Mick is playing the Topher strategy of last game of getting clean very fast. Yep. Uh, fewer, fewer favors at this point. Uh, so how are they going to build is the question. I feel like this board has more of the potential that you can just... Uh... Gain a huge amount of favors in turn two with the crack shot and guild monster, but not certainly not the early game with Sycophant. So is it swap time because you don't need a student anymore? Yes, we'll see. Or, I mean, you can't buy. Oh, anything. Okay. Never mind. So, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, it's. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's nothing time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Still no favors. Okay. Oh, we were wrong. No, you can buy something else. <laughs> I don't know if yeah. you will, like silver tent, uh, maybe. Yeah. So is this gonna be conjure or galley? I feel like you don't have enough targets for another galley. Yeah, but do you have actions for the conjure? Maybe you do have one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's tricky. I mean, you did set aside modify? Question mark with Royal Galley? Yeah. Yes. So. Buying swap pair feels so bad. When you have seven. Why? When you have seven what? and you've got, got a gallery and play. It's not like it I really know. matters, but. I don't know why you'd even buy swap. What are you swapping? The broker? Mm, whatever. <laughs> yep. He could modify the broker. Wait, Topher has two modifies. Yeah. Yeah, the cantrip nest of swap is not nothing. Just happened there. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was, yeah, it was a terminal. That's just, that's just it. Mick has a four card hand. <laughs> 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 so now we are team, and maybe now Topher will start to gain those favors. Uh... This is so weird. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna have to watch this game back in like slow motion to Yeah, me too. Actually figure out what's going on. I mean it is slow motion in from the sense of <laughs> they're not accomplishing much, but True. It is turn ten, yeah. I don't know. It just felt like last game maybe they were just playing faster, but last game it felt like they got they had stronger turns. Yeah. And it's surprising that this board would end up being slower. What? What? 
trashing well, don't you want to like remodel student into something and then you can swap like I, i'm just so confused Ooh, interesting. I'm sick of fans. Hmm. Yeah, like Topher definitely had bad draws, so like they wasted it, like two turns but with just I doing silly like, draws. Uh, yeah, uh, drawing for that one is dead with the broker. Set them aside once after. Yeah. Basically. I I have no idea what to do with mixed deck. Like if that was my deck, I'd just be like, "What on earth?" You have a specialist on modify and a swap. Are you like, <laughs> like what on earth are you doing? You can do things. You can absolutely do things. I just don't know what they are. Yeah. Royal Gal all the Royal Galleys there are. Uh, yeah, like Royal Galleys seems like maybe the most important card on the board because they are draw and. And yeah, but it, uh, there's a limit to how many you want in the early game. <laughs> sure. And if you can set up a, a good garrison, you can just broker for actions. And so it's not like winning a Royal Galley split would be hugely important. Specialist is plus actions, yeah. And also broker, if it comes to that. If it comes to that, yeah. Oh, so... Wait, do you want another Galleria, or do you play it twice? Um, guess twice. Yeah, I don't think you really want another Galleria, right? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, if you, you are going to use those Terminal Golds, you want Guild Masters for that space. In my opinion, at least. They provide a lot more. I mean what the 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 plus buy from the gallery seems pretty good to me. Yeah, but soon there won't be so many targets you want to buy for four. No, but there's always. Well, you but you have swap, so yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's gonna be royal galley, royal galley tent. Okay. And you I can see. swap the tent immediately, which seems like a reasonable thing to do. Something a little unfortunate um, is the swap is like has to be played before the Guildmaster for Topher. Topher, by the way, now has more favors than Mick. Mick shot off to a five favor to one lead and then has not gained <laughs> a single favor since. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Topher got the Guildmaster, which is a huge source of favors here. Yeah. And... Wait, do they have. Okay. It... No, wait. Set aside? No. Oh, right. oh yeah, I went I went through this game so far thinking there was no plus buy, but uh there is in fact herb gatherer. Yes. Yeah. It's a card, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess like that pile is not impressive at all. I guess Sybil is draw, but that's about it. No. Yeah, yeah, Sybil is, is reasonable, yeah. So, yeah, I, I assume somebody at some point will get an Herb Gatherer. Maybe you spot a Royal Galley for a Guildmaster. Mm. You can just... Yeah, I mean, you need uh, some target here. Yeah, you can just get it, but... Yeah. Mm. Uh, specialist is... Oh no, it's, wait. It's... Oh, you can get another one and then you can play it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, and with Swap in the Kingdom, you know, you don't have to worry about getting too many Gallerias. You just swap them later if you don't want them. Yeah, you don't have to care about the content of your deck at all. <laughs> just swap it all away. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, I, I, don't, I guess Topher's in a much better ten. spot somehow. Yeah, that's just 10 favors <laughs> in our turn. And... I feel like it will just go on from there. Yeah, I feel like Mick really we needs a build master. So we might take up to seven hundred favors here. Yeah, so like Topher has more royal galleys. Like, what's the difference between the decks? Oh, the guild master. Right. Like, oh, what's right. the biggest difference? I think. Yeah. And 
I feel like Thorfer just have us more cards than Mick. The Guildmaster and the Galleria has worked out. Mick, Mick has just been spinning, but without a Guildmaster. Like, if you spin with a Guildmaster, that's fine, because you get the favors. Mm. But, but right. yeah. Mick has just been turning his cards into other cards. <laughs> um, <laughs> there are very... Hmm. Very few cards for me. I guess just think about all the favors Mick would be generating if he had a guildmaster in play. It just makes me sad. Yeah. You might. <laughs> no. Yeah, and it's not like Maybe. he's buying much either. Since he does. His piles are getting kind of low. With specialist <laughs> getting as well gaining. <laughs> You're just it's so funny. Ten has been bought like three times and played zero times. <laughs> just, just great. Uh. Yeah, no need for garrison yet. I you have to imagine. I mean, it's really good. It's insane. <laughs> like if you get a guildmaster and a garrison in play, and then you start doing swapping stuff. It's just it's also just between crazy. between need the draw like most cards are uh, can't yeah, so I feel far, like you can, if you go for it you can file it pretty soon especially swap on rare galleys yeah so far they, eight haven't, of them. they haven't needed it so far but here's the thing once you have the um garrison you can just like just buy tons of silvers right yeah if you want like, it's totally a thing you can do. And that's a lot of favors and everything. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, or buy, yeah, or buy three cost actions to swap them, yeah. Buy lots of herb gatherers, definitely. Maybe you swap modify now, or so, yeah. you need it for mm. something. This for a guildmaster, okay. maybe you can just get more and more favors. Yeah, so like, so. maybe like swapping into tent in the beginning of the turn. To, to play it once and rotate and then swap into... And then, yeah, yeah. Could be. Could be. Hasn't happened yet. We'll see. But yeah, Topher just getting all those favors, which uh, is going to pay off. This is such a big think board. It, I, would, I think it I should would... be possible for them to just gain all the four garrisons here if they want to do it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't even think that matters, honestly. Yeah, it's not like it's a huge deal. But if it's something that they don't consider about, at least they don't have to think about any draw after that. It's... Yeah, I mean, Mick has the tent, so maybe they are going to go for the garrison now. Well, <laughs> so far that isn't a, a very good uh, indication. <laughs> But yeah, it's possible. It's definitely possible. And maybe that's Mick's way to come back into this game. Yeah. But, you know, I would really like a Guildmaster as Mick. That seems more important, to be honest. Wait. Yeah, these, yeah. these pipes are... Hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's one good turn. It should be pretty possible. But, but I don't think Mick can pile and score enough. At least not now. Yeah, I mean that's very, I think that's very timely. Yeah, uh, this is yeah, kind of awkward sure. hand for Topher. Oh okay, yeah, they have. Well, I didn't see it at first, so it changes the thing. Oh yeah, it changes everything. I mean, three royal galleys with two specialists and a swap. It seems like it'll be fine. Yeah, I was just looking at there's just two specialists and these are kind of awkward specialist targets, but. You can just uh, run Royal Galley too. Yeah, but I mean, but even Specialist Royal Galley means you get to see two more cards. But yeah, having the swap makes it super, uh, super good. You haven't seen the last game then. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Mick did get the Guildmaster in play. Especially the demon. Nice. So now the spinning is giving favors. Okay, okay. The tent didn't last. 
<laughs> Definitely it's, not. Just such it's just the best swap target. <laughs> yeah, Topher's been opening my eyes with the broker broker stuff. Like he gained two brokers there, and I'm like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Like if you green first, yeah. Broker is just like really good insurance, you know, where it's just like sometimes you can be like, well, I'll just trash this province and guarantee a good turn. Mm -hmm. And it's the kind of deck where overdraw, like you can do stuff with overdraw, right? There's a lot of flexibility there with your specialists. Yeah, Topher has a lot of pileout set here. There's just five cards they need to gain at this point, so I would imagine it's a lot more likely that Topher will be able to pile out than not. Absolutely. Uh, a little awkward that the specialists, though, two of Topher's specialists are um, kind of like at the beginning of the turn. But maybe, uh, maybe just swap and trust promise for draw and go on from there. It's not like you need the six points from that promise. You can just buy more points, but it, it's not likely that me to buy double this promise. Is Okay, they will, but uh, it's still like... Wow, Mick returned his Royal Galleys to try to make the pile out harder, but at the cost of making his deck worse. Um, but an inter interesting yeah. decision for Mick. Like, I, I, I actually have no clue what happened during that turn. It was like so much swapping and specialisting and... Yeah, it's really hard to follow. Yeah. I'm, I, I would hate. I would hate to play this as game yeah. seven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm. I'm. I'm very impressed. They still. They're still keeping up. I imagine like there's a million little things that you can just do a bit better that will lead to a higher outcome. But with all this, just it's a swap. Uh, million swap to play the turn and mm -hmm. specialists, guild masters, gallerias, everything. It just. Yeah, like I mean, it doesn't play it optimally. I feel like. Yeah, I mean, almost like there, there has to be a win here for Topher. Yeah, they just need four cards and a estate now. So, so they, so they want to specialize the specialist, right? So you can swap. <laughs> Pro probably. I mean, that's one way to do it. There might be others. Yeah. Oh, not sure. I like that. Like, I, don't you want to swap away the Galleria? I don't know. I'm confused. This doesn't look like going for a pile of... It, it kind of does. Be? <laughs> okay, double, it kinda does. double specialism swap pair. I wonder if just uh, crushing a promise for draw with broker at the beginning of the turn would oh. have made everything. Okay, no, we're... Swapping away the specialists. This is tricky. <laughs> this is so weird. Yeah. <laughs> and they will get uh how much is that? Eight money from that uh right now with Could more. you Yeah. Maybe maybe you so... could even maybe you could even quad the province here. Like if you swap into brokers and you you broker your provinces for sixteen money. So I go for this. Realistic, they need. Uh, uh, they need one more. 20, Twenty money. Twenty money. But yeah, but they have a gallery in play, so that so yeah, they if they just galleries. if they just swap into a four cost, they have the buys. I feel like oh, oh nice. This should be it. right. Uh, <laughs> Maybe that yeah, you're right. Mr. Royal Galley. And... Dude, that's an that's an awesome line. Is <laughs> yeah, double broker trashing province twice. That is awesome. Like you can trash your whole. Or or you can just specialize the no you yeah you can just specialize the broker also. Yeah, you can just trash your whole hand here and. Well, no, 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 like... you no, you need to swap into broker to get the extra buy. That's right. Yes. I feel like it's already in here. Uh, they had it because they could just uh broker uh trash uh Royal Galley, uh, for money. A specialist guildmaster, buy a couple royal galleys, and two specialists, and an estate. Yeah, I I don't know which pileup they're going for. Yeah, I, I I'm more excited by the province emptying line. <laughs> because that's very impressive. 
but uh, with the herb gatherer game, that seems unlikely. I mean, I don't. I'm not seeing what the herb gatherer does in either line. This looks like the quad line. Is it? Yeah, it's there. Uh, just, just barely. Yeah. They're getting eight money from bankers. Yep. Ta-da! Very exciting. <laughs> nice. Wow. Nice. It's a nice come from behind victory for Topher. All right. Mick started that off with a three-one. Yep. Uh, lead, and uh, Topher clawed his way back. Uh, to take that. And I believe Topher was saying this is his uh, first tournament win. Uh, so congratulations to Topher. Yeah. Well played. Big congratulations. Big big bank was on his side. Great, great end to a great tournament with a great expansion. Absolutely. Yeah, great expansion. Eh? We get to see my favorite ally, which is a League of Bankers. Yeah, very centralizing in both of those last two games. For sure. Very exciting. For sure. So yeah. All right. Thanks for uh, great commentating with you, with you too. Yeah. Same to you. Thank you and see you around. Yes. Thank you all. Bye.